First of all, a very warm welcome to prospective students to the Singapore Institute of Technology, or SIT. Hi, my name is Professor Justin Pang, and I am currently serving as the program leader of the SIT TUM, or Technical University of Munich, Joint Bachelor of Engineering with Honours Electronics and Data, or EDE program. Hello, a very warm welcome to um, all prospective students of um, SIT and Technical University of Munich. My name is Ulf Schlichtmann. I'm a professor at uh, Technical University of Munich. You can see our famous clock tower here in the background. Um, I'm talking to you from Munich and I will be giving this presentation jointly with Professor Justin Pang of Singapore Institute of Technology. What we want to do in the next um, uh, 30 to 45 minutes is give you an introduction into our um, program in electronics and data engineering. It is a four years Bachelor of Engineering program and honors program. And we feel that this will really be the key program to empower the next generation of the engineering and digital workforce in Singapore. And two institutions have teamed up to deliver um, this program, which are really well positioned uh, for this task, which is the Singapore Institute of Technology and Technical University of Munich from Munich, Germany. Um, moving on to uh, Technical University of Munich um, on the next slide. Um, here you can see our uh, main entrance. Um, we are a very well-established university. Um, TUM was founded more than 150 years ago um, and is uh, very well-established internationally um, in the meantime. Uh, I will um, talk in more detail about TUM on the following slides. Uh, shows you we're located in Munich. You see here in the background, the picture of uh, the Munich uh, city center, the very famous Marienplatz with our um, city hall, um, which looks a little bit different than city hall in Singapore, but it, uh, it, it is uh, very well known internationally. Uh, in normal times, um, it will be full of tourists um, touring um, city hall and its surroundings. Uh, Munich is actually well recognized in Germany and in Europe, not just as being a high tax center um, for all of Europe, but also for the very high quality of living. Um, we work very successfully, but there's also great opportunities for leisure and enjoyment. Munich is um, the third largest city in Germany. We have about 1.5 million inhabitants. By Asian standards, that's fairly small. By European standards, it's a fairly well-sized city. Um, we are student-friendly. Um, we have uh, significantly more than 100,000 students at the various Munich universities. With um, TUM, more than 44,000 students by now being one of the two large universities in Munich. We are uh, based on various rankings, number one university in Germany. And from that, of course, it logically follows that we're also the number one technical university in Germany. Um, our electrical engineering program is ranked number one in Germany. And another ranking, which we are really very proud of, is the Global Employability Survey, which is conducted by Times Higher Education in the United Kingdom. And they have ranked TUM number six globally um, for a number of years. Um, so in terms of how companies value and, and assess the quality of the graduates, how well they are employable, how well they integrate into an industrial environment, we are ranked number six globally. So that, that's something we're really proud of because it shows um, the quality and uh, the reputation that our education enjoys in industry. Um, so what you will be getting is an internationally recognized degree. TUM is ranked among the best European universities in um, various um, international rankings. We focus on excellence both in research and uh, teaching and also strive for an interdisciplinary education. 
And just like SIT, we focus also on applied research, applied education. So we have strong links with companies and scientific institutions on a global scale. And we hope that um, in short time, you who are watching this video at the moment will become part of this group of happy and well-educated students. Um, Tum has actually six major locations. Um, most of them are in uh, Munich and its surroundings in Bavaria. On uh, the lower right-hand side, you can see Heilbronn, which is our newest um, satellite campus uh, in the southwest of uh, Germany. But very important, what you see in the middle, in the lower um, row, that is our Singapore location, uh, which is our only um, location outside of uh, Germany, and which we have been building up for about 20, almost 20 years now. So we have quite a bit of history, and I might want to add successful history here in Singapore, more than 10 years of collaboration also between TUM and Singapore Institute of Technology. So by joining this program, you are joining a well-established collaboration. Um, and um, here at one glance, what are the uh, advantages of this joint degree, which we are offering? You get the collaboration between SIT and TUM. So as I said before, the best of both worlds, an Asian perspective, as well as a European and German perspective on research and especially on education. Um, you will get to apply emerging digital technologies, which are about to revolutionize the electronics and semiconductor manufacturing industry, which of course are very important to Singapore, as we will see. We have the integrated work study program um, as part of this uh, program. And uh, about half of the teaching will be done by TUM professors who uh, will come to uh, Germany to um, actually conduct their classes on site in Singapore, teaching you, working with you. Thank you, Professor Ulf Klitschmann for the nice introduction of QM. So why should you apply and study in this joint degree program? In the electronics industry in Singapore, about 64.8 billion USD of output accounting to 31.6% of Singapore's total manufacturing output in 2015 and still increasing. With a 2 to 5% annual growth in productivity over the past decade, hiring more than 68,000 workers, and this is about 70% of Singapore's manufacturing workforce. In fact, Every gadget they are using right now is likely to have parts made in Singapore. The electronics manufacturing industry is expanding and driven by increased adoption of telecommuting, remote learning arrangements, as well as the accelerated digitalization of businesses globally due to the pandemic. In 2020, semiconductor industry contributed about 7% of Singapore's GDP. Significant demand for fresh graduates from MNCs such as Micron, Infineon, global foundries, etc., are at a starting salary of about 3,300 Singapore dollars. Continuous demand for engineers in data analytics, automation, semiconductor fabrication, ICT integration, power engineering, 5G market, industry 4.0, etc. Top job titles are electronics engineer, application engineer, test process engineer, equipment engineer, system support engineer, and maintenance engineer. In fact, many overseas and local MNCs, as you can see here, have already expressed interest in hiring our potential graduates. With this in view, our ED objectives and graduate outcomes are straightforward and clear. We want to equip our students with necessary skill sets and competencies for emerging digital workforce, with specialized skills relevant to electronics and the semiconductor industry, as well as the data analytics industry. We want to fulfill demand for engineers with rigorous knowledge in both electronics as well as data engineering. So why the EDE and not other degree programs or from other autonomous universities? We offer foundation modules infused with deep knowledge in electrical engineering, fundamentals including circuit design and architecture, along with intensive mathematics for data engineering and machine learning. 
We leverage on TUM expertise in areas such as semiconductor physics, circuit design, sensors, and power electronics. We strengthen the program with our own SIT DNA of strong industrial engagement through design projects and our SIT salient feature, the IWSP, and Bachelor of Physics. We also reinforce the curriculum with the new and industrial relevant modules, for example, semiconductor fabrication, bioelectronics, industrial electronics, Internet of Things, data analytics, and machine learning, etc. This is the curriculum structure for the EDE, which effectively is a three-year, eight-month course. The curriculum is taught in 50% by SIT professors and 50% by TUM professors. Our TUM colleagues fly in physically, if the situation allows, to teach these modules. In all, you shall be receiving the same quality education as if you are in TUM home campus in Munich. In the first year, you shall read fundamental modules with a short trimester break in trimester three. In the second year, you shall read more fundamental and core modules and have a three-week overseas immersion program or OIP in Germany. And I shall touch on shortly as well. In the third year, you shall read more core and specialization modules with electives. In the last eight months of your fourth year, you will be doing your IWSP, either locally or overseas, depending on availabilities, and reading your bachelor thesis as well. For more details on the modules which you will read in each trimester, you can find out more information in SIT's website. In your OIP, you shall spend three weeks in Germany to attend workshops, visit German engineering companies, and visit German research institutes. You will also have the chance to network with fellow international students and mingle with your German professors to pro broaden your network, providing you with a comprehensive and holistic global experience. Most of you may have been from the polytechnic route and background, which makes you work ready, but probably not industrial ready. In your IWSP, either locally or overseas, you shall work full time in a host company and learn important industrial practices and professionalisms. This valuable exposure to industry allows you to blend theory from what you have learned in the past three years with practice, thereby reading your bachelor thesis with a strong industrial driven relevance with applications. In general, we welcome student holders of Polytechnic Diploma, GCAA level, IB Diploma, NUS High School, and other international qualifications with at least 12 years of formal education completed. If you have a strong interest and affinity for physics and mathematics, please join us and we see you soon.